NAB 2018, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, and we're here with Duran. We're going to be talking about Audition, and we're going to do that next. So, Duran, Audition. Yes. Uh, of course, been around for a long time. Uh, it, it's a great audio editor, and just doing uh, waveform or just or doing uh, uh, multi-DAW type stuff or, yep. or whatnot. Um, we, I work with a lot of podcasters that want to go from that other program, that free program, up to you guys sure. uh, that share the same first letter of the name. And uh, so tell us a little bit about, oh, you have a really nice story about uh, uh, one person that, that asked a question about that. So I was at a podcast event last year. Um, I was speaking with two women who produce a podcast. One's the host and one's the editor. And uh, I asked, oh, what, are you using Audition? They said, no, we can't afford it. We use Audacity. I, I understand. So tell me more. I, but I was curious. I wanted to learn more about the process. And uh, the woman who was the editor said, well, we usually record about two hours. I'll go through and I'll cut out all the ums and ahs. And then the host goes, and I say it all the time. <laughs> and, uh, and I go, oh, so, so in Audacity, what's that process? And she's like, well, I, I, I raise her here. I move the playhead, I raise her here, I delete this, I select everything and grab it forward, pull it all back. And I said, how long does that take for each um and on? She's like, uh, it's about 10 seconds. I was like, okay, that's not bad. How, how long does it take you to edit each of these, these podcasts? She's like, it's about six hours a week and we yeah. do four a month. And I said, so you're doing, you're spending 24 hours just cutting out ums and ahs, 10 seconds a piece. And uh, she, she agreed that yes. And so I showed her that you could just do a little selection and hit a single letter, a single shortcut key. And not only will we delete the section, we'll ripple delete everything back. Um, something and, that, and that shortcut key is? Uh, G. G. Uh, but you can set it to whatever you like. Exactly. It's very flexible. And uh, when I showed her this, we went and did it. And uh, it took less than a second. And so we figured, okay, if I can save you nine seconds on every edit, that's, you know, 90% of the time you spent editing. That's, you know, if you're doing 24 hours a month of editing, I've just saved you 23 hours or more. Yeah. Uh, is that not worth, you know, what's that come out to? 85 cents an hour? Is your time not worth 85 cents an hour? Exactly. In addition to everything else that you get? Um, I don't know if I sold her on it. I convinced her on the logic, but, you know, it's... Well, it's, you it's sold me on it. I mean, I, I use, I use the, the, the shortcut key all the time whenever yeah. I say audacity over audition. <laughs> and, uh, but... You know, also even in, in Premiere Pro, you got you got the same thing. It's Q right. in, in that case, but uh, you you can you take out something instantaneous instead of having to do three three steps. It's one step, and, yeah. and you're good to go. So exactly. Audition, 2018. What do you guys got? What's what are you featuring here? If you're if you're uh, working with Premiere projects, if you're working with video, or you're doing um, narration to video, or if you're recording a podcast and you have a camera running. You can pull in that, that video, right, that project right into Audition. No translation, no juggling co multiple copies of files. You're working with those original assets. Um, in addition to that, for when you have a lot of tracks, you have a lot of speakers or sound effects and music tracks, um, and you're really working on something very detailed, you want to cut and cut, and you really want to focus, you can hide all the other tracks the, other than the ones you want to work on. They're still audible. They're not going anywhere. They're just out of the out of the picture so that you can focus on what's most important. If you hide the tracks uh, and you're doing a mass edit, like let's say let's say you're doing a podcast where uh -huh. you can't go out of sync or else the conversation exactly. loses, can you hide the other tracks and then do the cuts? They will have them come. All those all the hidden club cuts, uh, all the hidden tracks are still there. They're still active. They still respond to everything else. They're just not visible at the moment. Unless, unless, you, the, unless you lock the track. Then, unless you lock the track. Okay, and if you lock perfect. the track, then we won't we won't touch. Yeah, but exactly. everything else out the door. Exactly. That that is awesome because then you can focus on one line and make sure that and you you don't get out of sync. Exactly. Because that's the worst part is you you start editing sync and then issues. after about thirty minutes you, you go back it's like wait a minute what what just happened. And you know you can you can certainly uh, one way to make sure that that doesn't happen under any circumstance is to select your tracks and group them and then treat them as a group. They'll always lock. They'll always edit in sync to each other. So you'll never lose that sync even if you're doing a lot of operations. That's awesome. One of the other things we added that was specifically for podcasters this release is the ability to put your album art your image right into your mp3 file in the application really so you don't have to go to itunes you don't have to go to a third-party application you can load it up save it as part of your meta 
metadata and just that's awesome. Yeah, I used to do that all the time, uh, putting the, putting the graphic in. How many how many uh, graphics can you have? Can you have like a front? Right now, it's or? just the one. It's okay. just one, um, but it's JPEG, PNG, uh, no no limits on resolution, so okay. you can really you can really take advantage of that. Otherwise, uh, just all the standard metadata that you can also put in there. Exactly. For, for exactly your mass mass editing. You know, and if something. you're using services like um, like uh, 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 Alphonic, for example, um, which does a lot of post processing and then distribution, packaging up and, and uploading to various distribution services. Yeah. Alphonic just released a, a integrated panel. So if you're an Alphonic subscriber, uh, you can install the panel. You never have to leave Audition. You just drag and drop your files in there. It does all the post-processing, does all the metadata, the chapter markers, additional album art, uploads it to iTunes, uploads it to LibSign, uploads it to Dropbox, wherever your delivery is. Okay. Um, without leaving the application, without trying to find files on disk, it just handles it all internally. It's amazing. Out of all we said, are there is there anything else new? Oh, there's, there's dozens and dozens. dozens. Of we could be here okay. all day. Well, let's let's go back to the, the <laughs> podcast because this is the one thing I the, I tell podcasters this all the time why you should get something that you know a few dollars is going to save you time, effort, and and money right. for that matter. Is, uh, is there something else that kind of would put them over the tipping point to say, okay, I really need to get audition? Uh, some of the things we've uh, released recently. One was auto ducking. So part of the process when you have music and you have a lot of dialogue clips, if you want that professional kind of radio sound where when you speak the music comes down and when yeah. you're when you, in the gaps it comes back up. Previously you'd either have to be um, kind of an expert to deal with sidechain compression and input, yeah. all this stuff or you would have to go through and drop keyframes and drop this down and, yeah. and, and which is just terribly time consuming. Which, which I do in, in Premiere Pro. Exactly. And that's also going to get the ducking feature. It has it right now. Yeah. So both applications have through our essential sound panel which is a, a gentle approach to audio production. It's a very simplified approach. It's not dumbed down. It's using our same effects. It's using our same tools. It's just very simpler. It's much more simpler and preset driven. Um, but through the essential sound panel in both Premiere and Audition, we now have a, a new tool for ducking. You just say, this is my music clip. I want you to duck against all my dialogue clips or every other clip, whatever it is. And it will automatically generate those keyframes for you. Uh, in Audition, as you move, as you, if maybe you move pieces around, it will automatically update. You don't have to think about wow. it again. That's awesome. And if, and if you want to make, a, if, if something wasn't just quite right, you can click a little button, adjust the keyframes yourself manually. It gets you 99% of the way there, so you can really focus on being creative, not being focused on doing all that busy work. All right. Well, thank you very much, Doug Dern, for your time. You bet. And uh, audition uh, at, at Adobe, Adobe.com. What else? Come to Adobe.com uh, just or just Google Adobe Audition. All right. Cool. There you go. You can check it all out. Got a lot of cool stuff. If you have any questions, let me know by tweeting me or Facebooking me, and I'll, I'll try and get them answered as we go. In the meantime, we got a lot more great video at NAB 2018. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, youtube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go down there, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification for the next video. And until next time, you guys geek out. <laughs>